Hi there, today we're unboxing a Philips Hue home automation bridge. So details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So I've done a number of smart products and I thought I'd give this one a go. So the idea behind this is you have this bridge that connects all your smart devices and these are devices obviously by Philips Hue and any devices that are compatible with Zigbee. Now, the idea being everything connects directly to this and then this device connects to your Wi-Fi and that's how the connectivity works. So let's have a quick look around the packaging. It comes really nicely packaged in a small package. Details there, what it's compatible with. So Amazon Alexa, Apple HomeKit, Google Assistant, Nest and smart things as well. Okay, diagram there sort of showing how it works. Obviously, you've got the bridge there connected to your Wi-Fi and then you've got your other devices obviously connecting directly to the bridge. Okay, and nothing more. So let's open it up and see what we get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out everything you get in the packaging. So let me quickly go through the items. So two sets of instructions. One set actually gives details of setting this up. So multi-language and it's very simplistic. So literally plug in the bulb, connect this up, the actual bridge itself, and then install the app and you're ready to go. Not much detail in there. So it should be straightforward. Next one has some wireless specification details regarding the actual bridge itself. Okay, let's move on to the actual power adapter. Very small, build quality seems fine. And thin cable on there. And let me come in here close so you can see some details. So output is five volts, five watts. Okay, so I've measured the actual cable length you get on this and it's 135 centimeters. Okay, and a DC power adapter on the end of that. So build quality seems reasonable. Okay, and then you've got an ethernet cable to actually connect to your router. So let me untie that. Build quality seems okay. Nothing too fancy. You can probably make these at home as well. It's quite straightforward. No covers on the actual RJ45 connectors on this. Okay, length for the actual ethernet cable is 90 centimeters. Okay, so next let's take a look at the actual bridge. Nice cool device, not too large. So let me give you the actual dimensions on there. So about nine centimeters that way, about nine that way, and the actual depth is approximately two and a half. Okay. Build quality seems good, all tough plastic all the way round. And on here you've actually got a button, and then you've got three indicators, it would seem. If I come around here, you've got the point where you plug in the power and the LAN connection. If I come around, there's nothing else to show. And then if I flip it over, you've got four rubber pads on there and two points for mounting. So that's where you would put your screw in and obviously hook it in. And that's probably another one so you can't move it left and right. So build quality seems good on there. Nothing to be concerned about. Just to show the actual button itself, it does have a bit of movement on there, but doesn't really feel cheap and nasty to be honest. Feels quite good. Okay, so let's make a start at setting this up. Pretty straightforward, as I've already said. So plug in the power, plug in your ethernet, plug in the other ends as well. So obviously I've got a cable here going to my router. So I'll plug that in. And this one can be plugged into a power adapter I've got at the side. Okay. So initially, we just see Okay, so that. now we have three lights on the actual device. We should be in a position where we can start configuring this. So let me get my smartphone. So Android device here. And we've got the Play Store in the corner. So let me start that up. And let's search for Philips Hue. <laughs> And that's the app, so let me install that. Okay, so the app's installed, let's click open. Okay, and it's searching for huge bridges. So let's give it a moment. 
okay and it says one new hue bridge found so let's click setup okay press the push link button on the hue bridge you want to connect to so that's the button here okay and we'll click enable an update is available for the hue bridge when installing your system may become unresponsive for a short while keep the lights connected to the mains and hue bridge powered on let's click update let's do the update it requires okay so the updates successfully installed we'll just click done and that's what you're presented with now so no lights connected add lights and give them recognizable names so we'll move on to adding in our first light. Okay, so let's make a start at setting up a bulb on the actual bridge. So I've got a bulb here. It's a single bulb E27 and it's a warm white color. So let me open it up, show you what you get in the actual packaging. So this was purchased from Amazon for 15 pounds. So you just get the bulb, Okay, and looks like some instructions here. Yeah, and that's it, nothing else in there. Pretty straightforward to actually install it. So I've actually got a fixture here. So just a screw adapter, you just screw it straight in and I can just plug it in at the side here and it should just turn on. So there you go, it's turned on. Okay, so here's my Android phone again and I've started the Philips Hue app. Now, what you wanna do if you want to add this light in, you click on the corner here, click light setup, add light, and there's a search button here, which is click there. And let's give it a moment to find the actual bulb. Okay, there you go, it's found the bulb, and one new light found. Okay, so pretty straightforward to do. If I click on there at the side, it'll give you some details. So obviously, Hue White Lamp Manufacturer, the model, and software on there and you've got a delete option if i click here you can rename it if you wanted to okay so i'll call it bedroom light that's done go back now and there you go you can see it there let's go okay. back so we can create a room so if i click there and just type in main bedroom room type it's all the different types you've got and bedroom is just there can select the light to go in the room and there you go okay so as the bulbs now added in pretty straightforward to control so if i click here turn it off turn it on you've got a slider there so if i move that along you can dim it you can go midway as well it's quite nice how you can control it if i actually click on it it'll go in to the settings for the bulbs and you've got some predefined scenes so you can go for bright dimmed and nightlight and you can obviously adjust these as well so edit on there or delete or you can create your own scene with your own level of brightness you want okay and you can select a picture to go with it so if i close that off that's the picture you see there now if this is a colored bulb we'd be able to go and see other colors in there but this one isn't it's just a standard white bulb and that's as simple as that for controlling the bulb. Okay, so the now, next thing to show is actually getting this working remotely. So if I click here on settings, if we look here, out of home control, not logged in. So if I click there, you're going to have to register an account to be able to do this with their system. So if I click login, yeah, so I've already got an account. So it already knows it's, it's cached in the details. But if you haven't, it'll ask you for the login details. So I'll say, yes, I do agree. And it's connected. So okay. what happens now is that if I drop this down, turn off my Wi-Fi connectivity, and you'll see connected via cloud. So if I go to home now, and we click there, there you go, the bulb's gone off. Give it a moment, there you go, it's turned on. So no ports to open on your router at all, cloud-based login, 
and you can control it remotely. Now, pretty smart how this works. Having this bridge is quite a bonus in one respect because with many smart lights, one of the issues is if you're your internet goes down, you're not going to be able to run any of these sort of extra functions like controlling the lights. Now, with this, what's clever is that you've got something called routines. So it's just down here. If I click there, you can actually have routines programmed into the bridge. So what happens even if your internet goes down, these routines still work. So you're not limited when your internet does go down. So, for instance, home and away, so home and away will not work as expected when the device is in battery saving mode. Tap the button to exclude Hue app from battery optimization. So obviously, if your battery is at such a low level, then you're not going to get this working. Because it obviously needs your... Okay, let's deny that for now. So obviously, it's going to need your location to be able to get that working. And again, when you're leaving home, you can have something happen. Okay. So what you can do, if you click coming home and turn on you can say when you're coming home you can turn on the main bedroom light there you go and that's the main bedroom light brightness you can set one of the predefined scenes and only after sunset so pretty cool this functionality let's go back again wake up so you can create a routine to slowly turn the lights on in the morning that's pretty clever so you can set a time, fade in, in 30 minutes, where do you want to wake up? So pick your room, very clever stuff. And let's go back, go to sleep. So routine, so fades out. So when you think you're gonna be falling asleep rather than leaving the lights on, you know it will fade out and go off. Okay, next one is other routines. So you can actually set a timer so I did try this out. Let me turn that off and just show what's available. So at a specific time, at sunset, at sunrise, so let's just do a specific time, you can actually set on certain days for the timer to go on. And what's quite clever, you can actually set it to go off at random times. So that's quite clever as well, to give the impression someone's home if you're out. Okay, that's that one. Let's go back. The other one is timers. So you can set a timer, a countdown timer, and you can say after a certain amount of time, you want a light to turn off, for instance. And that's it, pretty clever. From other apps, there's nothing scheduled timer on, on another app. Okay, the other thing, let's go to explore. Friends of Hue, apps we like, Hue Entertainment. So this can be shared obviously with other members of your family and if you're into gaming and you want these lights to sync with your gaming as you're playing you could also do that as well so these options let you do that if we go to settings again light setup just to show room setup so you can have multiple rooms pretty straightforward nothing too complex about this and the advantage is obviously the hub controls most of the actual activity going on in terms of smart activity. You're not relying on another third party over the internet for connectivity. Okay, so for my next test, I'm gonna show how to set up the actual bridge to connect to both the Google Home and the Amazon Alexa. So I've got my Android phone here and I've got both the Home app and the Amazon Alexa app. So let me initially go for the Home app very straightforward to do. If I click down here and go to settings, assistant and home control, and then we click on the plus and we do a search here for Philips Hue and it just appears there. Click on that. I've already done this once, so it's already cached my details, but obviously if you haven't done it, it'll ask for your login details. So. We'll say, do you agree and trust this application? We'll say, yes. Give it a moment. It's going to try and link. There you go. It's saying it's successfully linked. So if I scroll down, might need to do a refresh. Philips Hue, there you go. Bedroom light. Simple as that for it to appear. So now if I unmute, the microphone is back on. I can say, okay. 
bedroom light. Okay, turning on the bedroom light. Okay, bedroom light brightness to 100%. Sure, setting the bedroom light brightness to 100%. Okay, bedroom light brightness to 1%. Okay, setting the bedroom light brightness to 1%. Okay, turn off bedroom light. Sure, turning off the bedroom light. There you go, very simple to configure and use. Okay, so next, let me show how to get this configured with the Amazon Alexa. So I've got the app here. Okay, click on the corner there, skills and games. And we wanna search for Philips Hue again. Philips Hue that one, and it's a Hue app, sorry, the Hue skill. So if you click on there, enable to use. And again, similar thing, it would have asked you for your login details. I've already entered mine, so it's cash, so we just need to click a yes. And there you go, successfully linked. There you go, and it's found the bedroom light. And you can control it by saying, turn off bedroom light. Okay, so that was pretty quick setting that up, and we can just say, Turn on bedroom light. Okay. There you go. Alexa, bedroom light brightness to 100%. Okay. Alexa, bedroom light brightness to 1%. Okay. Alexa, turn off bedroom light. Okay. There you go. Excellent. Simple to use and set up. Okay, so for my next test, I'm gonna demonstrate how the bridge stores actual timer details to turn on the light, and it actually doesn't require internet for these timers to go off. So, if I bring my phone over, and if we go to routines, and we go to other routines, we create a new one at a specific time. So it's one minute past six at the moment. So if I set it for 18, Oh, 04 and we set it for every day okay and pick the light the bedroom and we say we want it to turn off at a specific time as well so we'll make that 18 5 okay so it turns on at 18 4 turns off at 18 5 and simple as that, click there. Right, and we go back to home, and just to show the light is working, turns off. Now, if I unplug the internet from the actual bridge, show it now, nothing happening. So you can't control it at all anymore. It's going to attempt, obviously, but there's no connectivity to bridge. So everything's reliant on that bridge. So if that bridge goes faulty, then you're going to have to replace it for all the other devices to work. Okay, so let's give it a moment now for the timer to kick in. So 18.03 at the moment, we need to get to 18.04 and then it should turn on in theory. There you go. 18.04 turned on automatically, no internet connected to it, and obviously the bridge is controlling this. So let's give it another minute and we can show it turning off. There you go, 18.05 and the light's turned off. So how cool is that? No internet connectivity required and the timers are still working. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this Philips Hue bridge. Works with both the Google Home and the Amazon Alexa. You can buy Philips Hue bulbs and Zigbee compatible bulbs or devices to use with this. Very straightforward to set up. But the only negative point I have to admit is the price of things. Obviously, if you want to get one of these smart bulbs, you have to get the bridge. And obviously, the bridge costs about £40. You can buy the Amazon Alexa, uh, the larger model, and that has the bridge built in. So that's another option you'd have if you're going with the actual Alexa products. Um, in terms of other 
products you can buy compatible ices at a much cheaper price so for instance this bulb was 15 pounds but you could buy an rgb one which is by a third party manufacturer the other thing to note is if you just wanted one bulb for your hallway for example as a security measure to give the impression you're home or not this is probably overdoing it a little bit only because of the cost because you could buy a standalone bulb use a smart life app and you've got it up and running for under 15 pounds whereas with this the minimum is this and that's about 55 60 pounds so there you go hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this details are in the description below thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs>